Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to start your YouTube gaming channel. Now for a lot of people, this can be a difficult subject, so I decided I should make this video just to help ease that process up for a lot of you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with three things, and then after those three things, I'm going to go into more in depth with them and uh, try to help you guys out as much as I can. So the first thing, if you're playing on an Xbox or PS4, or even if you're on your PC, you're going to need something to record your gameplay with. And if you're on Xbox or PS4, a capture card is the thing to do that with. Uh, Elgato is probably the best option, especially for beginners. It's a good capture card, costs around $150, and of course you can get it used for cheaper, and it'll still do the same thing. Now if you're on PC, like me, I use Fraps or DXTOR. Now these are just screen recorders and they just do what they're called, they record your screen. They're not as much as an Elgato or another, a different type of capture card. They'll uh, cost you around, I'd say, $20. And uh, for the money, it's, it's great. They do what they need to do, they get the job done, and they do a great job at it. Now the next thing you're going to want to get is a microphone. Now of course, this isn't essential for everybody. If you're doing montages and things like that, you're not going to necessarily need a microphone. But if you want to get big on YouTube or you want to use YouTube as a living and you're making a lot of content, microphone is a good place to go to. Not necessarily a place because there's a place called microphone. Please do not go there. That place is not going to help you with your YouTube gaming channel at all. But uh, what I meant to say is a microphone is something you're going to want to purchase. Next, and probably the most important out of the three, is a PC. For me, I do almost everything on PC. My gameplay is on PC, my microphone is hooked into my PC, and it only works if it's hooked into my PC, and all my editing is also done on PC. So if you have an Xbox or PS4, your editing is going to be done on PS... on PC, almost at PS3, and most of your uploading. And uploading is also an extremely important reason. Now you don't need to have the best PC to be able to do this, but of course the better it is, the better your editing, the better the rendering, and I'll go into more in depth with rendering later, but uh, it's just gonna help out in the long run. So let's go into more in depth with the microphones now. For the microphones, a blue snowball is a great starter to go with. It's cheap, and it does an amazing job for the money. Now normally people who do solo comms and, and commentaries over their videos, they have a dynamic mic, but dynamic mics do cost a little more than condenser mics and they don't pick up as much noise, but the Blue Snowball is a condenser mic, but it still does a great job. And if you're just starting out, I definitely recommend that one. Also, if you're getting a mic, Audacity, or Audacity, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, I've heard it multiple ways is a free editing software to record your mic with and it's great and it works wonders you can cut out audio you can make your audio sound better and everything like that and that's actually what i'm recording this video with right now but of course the audio not the gameplay the next thing you're gonna have to need is a good upload schedule now i'm very hypocritical when it comes to this because my upload schedule hasn't been nearly up to par but an upload schedule is important for getting views consistently and growing your channel and your fan base. The next thing I want to say, I probably shouldn't have waited this long, but if you're naming your channel and you haven't started it yet, make sure you have a memorable name. You want people to be able to remember you and easily spell it into the YouTube search bar in case they haven't subscribed to you. Because if they're just finding your video for the first time, they obviously haven't subscribed to you yet. And if they don't subscribe on the first video, but they say, hey, I want to watch this video again that I saw, and they don't know your name, they're not going to be able to find that video most likely. Also, please, please don't put a bunch of X's and 1's in your name. I mean, sure you might think it looks cool, and maybe that name's taken, but please, I guarantee if you can, you can find a better name. Now, you might think, hey, I got the perfect name, and all I need to do is add a 1 to it, so it's not taken anymore. Well, if it's taken, it's obviously not the perfect name. Someone out there already thought of it. And uh, I hate to say it, but you're not a genius on that. So what I'd say is if it's taken and it's asking you to put in numbers to make it better or make it available, that's a sign that there's a better one out there. And you should probably go and just keep searching for a better name. 
And again, people don't think the names are important, but in my opinion, they're very important. So next of all is when you upload your videos, and again, this goes with your schedule, so make sure that you're uploading consistently and that your video titles are also good. They're also memorable, just like your name. So people aren't going to want to watch a video that says, I don't know, Far Cry 4. That's the game that's out right now. That's the first name that came to mind. And instead, it's a video on Minecraft. Or if you say, next level Call of Duty gameplay, and it's just you talking about random things, and there's really nothing to do, or the gameplay is not all that great. Alright, I have two more things for you for your YouTube gaming channel, and I think these two are probably the most important out of all of them. First off is don't be discouraged if your videos aren't going viral. A lot of YouTubers started out with uploading a bunch of videos and probably getting three views per video, but they kept at it and they're at where they are today because of that. You're not going to get extremely popular on the first video or the second video you upload, or even the third for that matter. So just keep uploading and I'm sure good things will happen. As they say, good things come to those who wait. And finally, make sure you enjoy what you're doing. Because if you enjoy what you're doing, then others will enjoy watching you. Alright, I think that wraps things up guys. I hope you took something away from this and that this video makes starting your gaming channel a little bit easier. If you guys enjoyed, please leave that like button, it would mean a lot. And also comment something that I may have missed or that helped you out in your gaming channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.